You could search for winning strategies all you want, but what if I told you winning is not everything? Hello guys, my name is Robert, and I wanted to talk a little bit about these YouTube videos I've been seeing lately. So, I've been seeing a lot of YouTube videos with a high win rate, but we never see if that strategy is profitable in the long run. You could win as many times as you want, but if your losses are greater than your wins, you're going to end up losing a lot more money in the long run. That's why in this video, I want to show you how to scan the market, pick the most profitable stock, and use machine learning to optimize your stop loss and take profit positions. If you're interested in more videos like this, please like and subscribe to the video down below and as well, help grow a community of winners. All right, guys, first things first is we're going to go ahead and add the strategy on TradingView. If you guys are new to TradingView, I'm going to have a, a sign up link in the description box down below. And as well, I have the link to the trading strategy. And uh, you can see right up here, this is the link to the trading strategy. It's called MACD Bull Crossover. And um, this is a long strategy, so it only works for longs. Um, I do not consider shorting this strategy. If you want to short it, I do have another strategy that I will release very soon, and it's going to be the short strategy version of this. But as of now, this is only for buy and sells, no shorting. And uh, so when you're on the like, you'll see the actual chart. It shows you the buy signal, shows you the sell signal, and uh, the amount of likes that people liked it. But if you go down below, just keep on going a little uh, lower, you're going to see the, the actual strategy report. This is back testing results. So it shows that there's a 492% net profit, which is highly profitable. And the win rate, which says here percent profitable, is 82%, which is great. So you know that's a very profitable strategy. And you can click Add to Favorites. So once you click this, it's going to save on your favorite indicator list and to find your favorites when you're looking at a chart there's this this little button at the top it says indicators you click it and you'll see favorites here mine it says macd long strategy yours might say macd bull crossover but it's the same strategy let's go ahead and click it it is now connected so you'll see the buy and sell signals right now it's currently showing a 94 percent win rate with 288% net profit, which is awesome. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it on how to set it up. Now we can go ahead and talk about how the strategy works. This is a simple RSI and MACD strategy. So let me go ahead and add these indicators, uh, the RSI and the MACD, so you can see how the strategy works behind the scenes. So I'm gonna go up here, click indicators, type RSI, um, it's going to go ahead and be this one right here. And then I click indicators one more time and click MACD. So these are exactly the indicators that you're going to, you're going to see and be using, but you don't need to have these here, the RSI and the MACD indicators because they're already included in the strategy. The strategy already knows what to do. So uh, pretty much what it does is when the RSI is under 30, which you can see here, the RSI, this line, this purple line goes under 30, which means that it's oversold, which also means that it's under value. A lot of buyers like to buy in at this specific time because they know that the stock is very undervalued. Some, some reason has been selling uh, for far too long and eventually buyers are going to start buying it to increase the value to normalize the value or in this case eventually it got overpriced and when it got overpriced uh, buyers started selling right here you'll see it's under 30 and the buy signal is actually the macd it said so how the strategy works is when the macd crosses over and the rsi was under 30 within five candles buy in so You'll see the MACD crossover and this RSI, the purple line was under 30. So there was a buy signal. The logic behind the strategy, of course, is once that sharp 
selling velocity is, is driving down the market. Oh, eventually, uh, when the MACD crosses over, that means that there's bullish momentum. And you can see here that there's green, a bunch of bullish momentum bringing up the price all over again. So the sell-off was now over and the price, the price pivoted to a positive and um, it pivoted all the way to here. And when the MACD crossed over, it turned red and the price started dropping down. You can see that and the price started dropping down here. So that's pretty much how the strategy works. I'm going to go ahead and remove these indicators because we, we do not need them. It was just to show you visually what the strategy was doing. But as well, I want to talk a little bit about the strategy tester. For this stock specifically, it's NTRA on the 15 minute chart. It says that it's 94% profitable, meaning that the win rate is 94%. But like I mentioned earlier in the beginning of the video, the win rate is not always a factor. I mean, it's good that you win all the time, but if your win rate is good, but your losses are big losses, then your win rate uh, it doesn't really matter. So what I usually do, I find a high win rate and I also find something that gives me a high profit. This one gave me 288% net profit, meaning that I win a lot and as well, I gain a lot from those wins. So that's what you guys need to be looking out for. You guys want to have profit and win rates. Congratulations guys, you made it this far into the video. This is my favorite part and the most important part of the actual video. So pretty much what we're going to go ahead and do is download the Thinkorswim desktop application. I'm going to have the link in the description. So uh, you just go ahead and click download now. They might have you open up a new account. Just go through that process because this is very important and you're going to love this. So let's go ahead and open up the Thinkorswim application. I have it open already. And once you open it up, you'll see some tabs at the top. Go ahead and click the one that says scan, because this is going to be our custom scanner from now on. So what you're going to want to do is add two filters. You can add filters by clicking the add filter button right here and add a volume for the stock filter and a stock last filter. So the volume, you want to have a minimum volume of 50,000. So you have uh, more of a liquidity in your actual trades. And as well for stock, um, I don't usually trade stocks under $5. So I just put $5 and up. Um, once you do that, you're going to create a third filter and this filter is going to say custom. So when you click study, it lets you click all this random stuff. Just go ahead and click custom. And this is where you put the custom screener. So you're going to see it actually all blank like that. Um, but what you're going to do is in the description box, you just go to uh, the link. It's this paste bin link right here and you just copy all of this. Just copy all of that. Go back to your Thinkorswim desktop, which is this one, and then you paste it right back in there. Click OK. And then if you want extended hours, you can leave that checked. And this is where you click the time frame. You want five minutes, 15 minutes. I usually trade on 15 minutes. Um, on the 15 minute time frame, you're usually, with this strategy, you're usually in a trade within one to seven days. So uh, it's considered swing trading. But if you want to be in there for like a day or two days max, go to the five minute. It's going to be uh, the best one for you if you're a day trader. And uh, as well, you can click pretty much anyone here. So I'm going to click 15 and I will click scan. It's going to go ahead and load. And it's scanning like 3,000 different stocks all at one time with my custom screener. And it gives me this huge list. This list is huge right now for the reason that uh, we're currently in a downtrend, a market. 
So um, it's usually not this big. You'll probably see about like, I don't know, five, maybe 10 or, or less, I don't know. Um, but we, we got all these buy signals. These are all buy signals, which is awesome. Like, so now what I do, I pick out, I filter through all these. I say, which one would probably give me the most money? I'll start at the top. So this symbol is called SOS. Let's go to trading view. Type in SOS at the top and then click the strategy tester and click overview. It says that with my strategy, this one at the 15 minute time frame, make sure you're at this 15 minute time frame is not profitable. You see there's a 40% win rate, but your losses are way greater than your wins. So this is one that we're going to ignore. Let's go into the next one. We see CCL, which is Carnival Cruise. Let's go type CCL. This one as well. It shows that this strategy has a 60% win rate. So you're winning majority of the time, but the losses are bad. So you don't want to use that one. We go to JD and uh, type in JD here. Okay, now we got one. So this one right here, it says there's an 86% win rate with a 100% net profit which means that uh, with a strategy, if we see a buy and a sell, more, more of the time, most of the time you're making more gains than losses in this one. So let's say this is our winner and we wanna go with this one because it has a high win rate and it has a net profit that we desire. You know, it's in positive, it's something good. 20% and up is usually what I consider good on the 15 minute chart. Um, so now that we have our strategy and we scan the market to filter out what we think is the best one, I won't go through all of them. I'm sure there's a lot of other ones that make way more profit, but in this video, I want to shorten it up and say, Hey, this is our best strategy out there that we filtered out for today. It's got this net profit and this win rate. How could I make it better? And the answer to that is actually using a program language called Python. And I won't show you how to set up Python and this script in this video. I actually have it in another video, which I'll leave in the description box below. If you're interested in using machine learning to set up your stop loss and your take profits. So in this case, um, we have our, my script here, the stop loss linear. I'm going to go ahead and run this script. So I go to trading view. I go ahead and click this gear here. I click uh, enable stop loss and I click okay. And then I press on the keyboard control save. And that saves, that actually saves the, the chart to on the 15 minute. And it saves the, the setting that I just clicked right here. The, enable stop loss. So once I do that, I go back into Python and I click this little play button and um, it's going to go ahead and go through every stop loss decimal, like 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, um, 1% stop loss, 2% stop loss. It's going to go through a whole list of, of stop losses and it's going to find the best stop loss value that I should use. So let's go ahead and run that now. All right, so the script has finally finished, and what we have here is the results. 
So it says the best stop loss is going to be at 8.2%. So um, if you want to use a stop loss for this strategy, 8.2% is the best stop loss to mitigate your risk. It says there's a total trades of 26. It keeps a win rate of 76. Your net profit is 83%. And your max drawdown, the most you will lose using this strategy on this specific stock here, is 9.7%. We have our shop, sharp ratio at 0.6%, which is, it's okay. It's not the greatest, but hopefully it gets higher when we use uh, the take profit um, level as well. So here we see our win and loss ratio is 75%. So that's a, a good number as well. We win 75% of the times. Our average win is going to be 6.96%. And our average loss is 9.29%. So now that we have all this information for the stop loss, let's go ahead and get that information for the take profit. All right, so let's go ahead and add the take profit. So first thing we're going to have to do is click the gear icon. Uh, you'll see as well when you run the script, it will actually input 8.2 for you. So you don't have to, to put the stop loss in. It automatically does it for you. So uh, that's something, something good. And we'll just unclick this, click enable both, click OK, and then press on your keyboard control save. Perfect. Now we could go ahead and run the take profit script. You'll see that I have it right here. And as well, if, if you're trying to look for it and you don't know where it's at, it's actually in, in this scripts folder. Uh, I have a way more scripts than you have because uh, some aren't testing, but uh, the one you're looking for is take profit linear, which is this one right here. And let's go ahead and run it. So I click run and then take profit linear and see what results we get now. All right, so now we got the results. Let's go ahead and take a look at the results for the best take profit. It says the best take profit percentage will be 6.2%. We'll close out at 29 trades from the back testing. The win rate increased from 76% with just a stop loss. And now with both of them, it increased to 82.76%. It also increased in net profit about 40%, which is great. And the max drop drawdown has decreased. It was like at 9% with just a stop loss. Our sharp ratio has been lowered, which is, I guess, kind of a bad thing in this case. Um, but um, it says our win ratio, our win loss ratio is 0.68. So 68% of the times we're going to win, which is great. Uh, the average win per trade is 6% and the average loss per trade will be at 9%, which it, this is all great information. So now that we have both the stop loss and the take profit, we'll go ahead and take a look at trading view. You'll see that the stop loss is, has in, been inputted by the, the robot and the take profit has been put in by itself by the robot. Um, and as well, you'll see that there's a red line for stop loss and then there's a green line for take profit now. Well, there you guys have it. This is how I trade on the daily. You don't have to follow every, every uh, step that I have created. This is just my guidelines. This is how I trade to minimize my risk and maximize my rewards. So if you do want to trade like an experienced trader, it's always best to have your stop loss or take profit and have a good winning strategy. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching my video and have yourself a great day.